have certain pictures or we have pictures about our life in our subconscious mind. So the bottom half of the circle is our subconscious mind. And the subconscious m- m- mind is the, is the part of us that feels or our emotion. Our emotion. So an idea in, comes in about, uh, about more wealth, more money. We compare that with our present ideas about money. Our present, our present pictures or images about risk. Whether it's comfortable where we are and whether the risk could be too high is only determined by our current references and beliefs, isn't it? Because someone could have the same opportunity and, and they could grab that with two hands where someone else could let it go based on their present conditioning. And so an idea comes into our conscious mind, we think that over, we compare that information with our current reference and belief from our memory of the past plus our past con- or our present conditioning that, conditioning that comes from the past and we will either accept or reject that idea based on our past programming. Based on our past programming. Not necessarily whether it's good or bad for us, but based on our past programming. So information comes in. We think it over. We reject it or or, or accept it based on who we think we are. Now, we're not saying whether that's good or bad or whether it's a good choice or a bad choice. That's just it. That just is. Now, that will cause us to feel a certain way. For example, often in my seminars, I ask people, I was in New Zealand in, the, in Auckland just on Sunday, and I, uh, and I got the people that had put their hand up, and I said, who, who here knows they can make 5% per year on their money? And everyone put their hand up, and I said, who here knows that they can make 20%? And, and only about... Uh, it was interesting. About half a dozen people put their money in, put their hand up, and I said, uh, "Who here knows they can make 40% of their money?" And probably about three people left their hands up, and I said, "Who here knows they can make 50% per month on their money?" And no one put their hand up. Thought that was interesting. Now, of course, they all have, just like we have, beliefs around the return on money. The interesting thing about our beliefs is we will not see outside of what we think is truth. We will not see, we're unable to see outside of what we believe is truth, truth to us. If someone doesn't believe that it's possible to get 50% per month on their money, will they ever find that opportunity? No. Now, we know it's possible or at least I know some of you know it's possible, and some of you experience getting 50% per month on your money, but most people, automatically something's triggered from their subconscious mind. The higher the return, the higher the risk. So people instantly come up with a paradigm or an image about money that they think the higher the return, the higher the risk. Now we can cite example after example that actually invalidates that very premise. Ah, if we know it's possible, why don't we do it? Good question. Um, Knowing what's possible is part of or a concept of the, the conscious mind. So possibilities are part of the conscious mind. What controls our actions, though, is not. Most of what controls our actions is actually a component, a component of our past programming. And so we only act according to what we know is true, not what we think is true, what we'd like to believe. Like we all like to believe something, but it's a deep knowing that causes us to act according to the belief, called an absolute faith. So information comes into our conscious mind we accept or reject that information based on our present programming that causes us then to feel a certain way. We'll get certain emotions about that. Someone can say something to you that you don't agree with. You might even reject 
But does that bring up a certain emotion for you? Particularly if it's your spouse or a loved one, isn't it? They totally disagree with what you've said. You disagree with them. And it brings up a certain emotion. Sometimes it's called anger. <laughs> so whether we agree or disagree with an idea, and whether we choose to follow through on it or not, it still causes us to feel a certain way. So we're breaking down thinking, if you like, or the, or the mind. The mind is an activity, not a thing. We're breaking down thinking into the simplest form right now. And so that causes us to feel a certain way that causes us then to act a certain way. Feelings cause us to act. Action happens through the body that then causes us to get a certain result. Now, this helps an answer Andrew's question. If we believe that we can get 50% per month, why don't we? Well, to want something and to absolute, absolutely believe it, have so much faith that you know it is true, is two different things. Because... Is there a lot of people out there that believe they could uh, win lotto? Is that? Why would they buy a ticket if they didn't have any concept of belief that they couldn't win it? No one in their right mind would go and spend, I don't know how much it is, 15, 20, 30 bucks a week buying a lotto ticket if they knew it wasn't going to work. I don't believe they hope. Well, they must have some sort of belief. But yeah, you're right, they have a hope. But that's all it is, isn't it? That's all it is. We are always, and this is the, the, this, this is the uh, I guess, the truth that we have to face up with, that we are always a direct reflection of, of the images or paradigms within our subconscious mind. So the images that's built up in our subconscious mind about everything in our life, money, love, health, everything, the images that we have in our subconscious mind is what causes us to have our results. 